So how do you keep God alive in your life? Listening to these lectures by Dennis Prager back in year 2000 on Exodus 34. And uh, you know, this is how you keep faith in God by observing regular rituals. If you don't observe regular rituals as a Jew, you won't keep God alive in your life. No generation of Jews does not remain God-oriented has stayed Jewish. Many Jews say, I don't need the rituals, I'll keep Jewish values alive. It is well-intentioned, erroneous sentiment. Without rituals, nothing is kept alive. The average Jew observes no Judaic rituals. So how about Christians? They're not ritualistic. Certainly not Protestant Christians. How do they stay God-oriented? Well, they have God made flesh in the person of Jesus. So if they didn't have God in human form, they too would need rituals to stay God-oriented. Islam has as many rituals as Judaism. So the unleavened bread symbolizes getting out of Egypt. Getting out of Egypt is the symbol for all of the Torah, because Egypt symbolizes everything that Judaism rejects, such as a preoccupation with death and a paganism. Since the Egyptians invented bread, bread became the symbol of Egypt. By eating unleavened bread for seven days, you reject Egypt. And uh, Prager says there's been a tremendous degradation in Jewish life over the course of centuries, in addition to tremendous elevation. The overwhelming majority of Jews have no clue as to what matzah represents. They think you eat matzah because there wasn't enough time to bake regular bread while leaving Egypt. This is true, but trivial. The most important reason is that bread represents Egypt. Unleavened bread represents getting away from Egypt and affirming the one God and life. So meaningless rituals are as worthless as no ritual. How did we go from Jewish life where 90% of Jews practice the rituals to in 100 years, 10% of Jews, because ritual was basically meaningless. It wasn't taught as having a meaning behind it. Now, rituals can be beautiful, but even beautiful rituals that mean nothing will be dropped. Beauty isn't enough. The brain needs reasons. The Torah is a rational document. It does give reasons.